Hey Mike, this is Jim Kemp. Hey, I got your email uh, asking about our Arberg uh, with our Raspberry Pi control. So I thought I'd just make you a quick little video and show you uh, what this thing is all about and uh, see if you're interested in kind of reproducing what we've done here. So let me uh, grab the camera and I'll do a quick walk around and show you what we've got here going with this guy. All right, so this is the Raspberry Touch Screen, of course, and this is all Python code that I've written. So how this works is uh, you use these sliders down here to adjust the injection time and the uh, how long the mold stays closed for, and uh, it calculates how many parts per hour you would get at those numbers. So when you're ready, you just hit uh, cycle start. And the mold closes, injection happens, and in seven and a half seconds, injection's over, and now the mold's going to stay closed until 16 and a half seconds. And the mold opens, and now it's waiting for the uh, part detect. And on this guy, it's this little metal uh, flipper. You got to flip it, goes and starts the next cycle. So. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, got kind of an odometer down here. It tells you how many parts you've made in total, how many parts today. Uh, so yeah, again, it's waiting for the uh, part guy to go. Let me flip it. Pretty straightforward. So you could, if you want to stop after this part, you could just turn this button off. And now after this part, it should. Uh, stop even if let's see here make a lot of them so even if I hit the flipper at the bottom yeah it doesn't matter the part detect it uh, it won't go again until you hit the uh, cycle enable and if it's in the middle of a cycle you can hit abort and it just cancels everything so until you turn that off and now you can Cycle go again, and if I hit abort, everything just stops. So that's it in a nutshell on that side. So there is a not the best design there. Uh, probably could use a bunch of uh, heat shrink on all those tubes or something to protect all that I.O. But that umbilical cord then comes over to this control box. So originally I intended to do the uh, PID temperature control in the Raspberry Pi, but it wasn't working. And these temperature controllers are so cheap on Amazon that I just stuck one of them in this box. So uh, pretty straightforward. There's a uh, rack up there, a little... Uh, Again from Amazon, it was really cheap, like 20 bucks. Uh, SSR solid state relays, and then this is the big one that uh, was gonna it controls the uh, the heat and just a nice power supply. And I can't, I built this extra little I/O board in here, and I can't for the life of me remember what the hell that does. Something. Well, let's get it to cycle and see what it does here. So if I turn. Cycle enable on here. Uh, I have no idea. It's doing something. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, right now the the heater's turned off, so I can turn the switch on. And now that should start ramping up to temperature. Yeah, you can see the little LED down here on the solid state relay. But it's just about as simple as it can be. And that's probably what you're looking for. So uh, somewhere I've got a schematic for the inside of that box that shows all the I.O. And this thing is all written in Python code. It's using uh, Kiwi as the uh, software for the build. So 
that's about it. So uh, let me know if this is uh, basically what you're looking for and we can talk about doing something. Thanks a lot.